Right, Steve. And scientists actually head out into the water like I am right now, and they take a number of samples from different areas in each body of water, one essentially to the left, one to the right, one in the middle. And what they're looking for is amounts of bacteria. They'll send that water back to labs so that it can be tested for the impacts of wildlife, people, and pets. Growing up near beaches like this one at Lake Sammamish State Park. I'll pick up some trash along the way. King County scientist Houston Flores has always cared about keeping them clean. But the testing work he now does each summer examines what's in the water itself. Now in high gear for the year, King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks testing program spots algae blooms and takes water samples. And the main thing we're looking for is poop in the water. What we actually test for is a type of bacteria that lives in our guts. It's just part of our good gut bacteria, but it's in people or pets or wildlife. Ecologist Dr. Daniel Nitskorsky says EPA research shows that can lead to nausea, diarrhea, rashes, and even lung problems in some cases. Protecting people from all that prompted the temporary closure of Matthews Beach. Knowing how long it could take to pass means trying to track down the source. But most of the time, it's kind of a mystery. So we run a couple of lab tests with that. Scientists also record what they see offshore. If there's, you know, kids in diapers or ducks and things like that, we'll, we'll, I'll just make note of it. Cute as those ducks may be, DNRP says feeding them has a downside. The more they eat, the more that goes back out. Another one is keeping dogs away from the beach, or if you are at a beach that allows dogs, make sure you clean up right away so that dog poop doesn't wash in the water. The third is people poop. Kids should wear swim diapers, and the county recommends showering before you swim. As for the trash we spotted with Flores, it's not a huge concern for this type of testing, but it can cause other problems. So keep beaches clean. So does a big crowd necessarily equate to more bacteria? I asked the question and they said it's kind of hard to say. There doesn't really appear to be a direct correlation between, say, a big holiday weekend and then the levels they're seeing, but people do make an impact. And in just the past hour, they say that public health did clear Matthews Beach to reopen because those levels are back down. Reporting from Bellevue, Eric Kazuko, King 5 News.